Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of uh, Selenium training. So in this session, we are going to discuss on how to install and download JUnit in your Eclipse using traditional project model and also using Maven model. In previous session, we have discussed about uh, introduction to JUnit, why JUnit is used, whether it is for developers or testers, all those things we have discussed. And also we will be discussing about annotations, fixtures, test suits, test runners, JUnit classes in upcoming session. So in order to discuss all these sessions, uh, first we need to download and install JUnit. So I'm going to uh, give you some simple steps on how to uh, get it done. So we have an URL here. Just let me go to this URL. So the latest version of JUnit is five, sorry, four. And if you want to go to uh, JUnit three, you can just click here. Uh, let me show you for JUnit four first, then uh, we will discuss on JUnit five as well. So you, hence, you can see different versions over here, download and install and release notes. You can see some documentation as well. So I'm just going to download an installation page. So you will be requiring these two jars. One is JUnit and another one is Hamcrest core. So there is some Maven dependencies also available. You can use this Maven dependencies. For now, I'll be downloading this both jars. So download jar and Hamcrest as well. So you'll be seeing download button over here. Let me go to the downloads folder. Let me copy these both files in one of our folders. I'll name it as JUnit jars. Okay. So we have to set up environment variables as well. Uh, how to do that? You can use JUnit underscore home and set up your environment variables. Let me open environment variables screen. Under system variables, click on new and you can use JUnit underscore home and go to the folder where you copied your JUnit jars. Just place it there. And also you can even edit the class path, click on new, copy this path and use it here. Okay, so we are done with the uh, setup in our system now. So let us go to Eclipse quickly and just see how we can use that JAWS uh, by using a simple program. Okay, first we'll see the traditional model. So let me let me create a new project. I'll call it as Java project. I'm done with creating my project. Now let me go to here and import my jars. Okay. So build path, configure build path, add external jars, go to the folder where you pasted your jar files, select those and add them and click on apply and close. Now let's create a new class. Let me call it a sample test. So you need not use main method for JUnit classes. Now the annotation which we can use as a basic is test. Uh, let us come to that uh, in the later part. But for now we are going to test whether 
JUnit is working fine in our system or not. Okay, so now let me write a sample method. Let me write some text. Right now, you can import your test using these annotations. You can see you are seeing one annotation here change to org junit test. So you can import this one and it's imported. Okay, now you, you might be seeing just uh, the test in your system, but here I am able to see uh, something else, but that's not an issue. So you can just import this and then let me run a program now. Yeah, you can see my method is created. This is a test case. You call it as a test case or unit test case. So let me take one more test. And let me use annotation and I'll call it a test to welcome to or uh, this is unit test to and I'll replace this text with this is unit test one. OK, now let's run this. You can see here my output is printed now it's confirmed that JUnit is working in our system right now let me show you how to do that same way in using maven okay so let me go to this i already have a project uh, uh, design so let me show you that so let me create some sample class and see whether JUnit is working fine or not Or let me create uh, some Maven project, new project. Let me call it as Maven project. Click on this create sample project. Okay, you should be seeing. Okay. Let me create as com dot JUnit sessions. Click on finish. So I got com dot XML here. So let me go to this website again and I will be needing two dependencies, right? So I'll be copying this dependency for JUnit and use it in my project. So before that you need to use dependencies tag. So use control shift F so that it formats in proper way. <clears throat> now, if we try to create a class, let me try to create a class here. Class sample test using Maven. So as we discussed, we need another dependency as well, which is Hamcrest score. So let me include that as well. So it says, okay, I think this should be at the last. Done. Now let's go to this class. Let's write same method. Test one. This is test one in JUnit Maven type. So let me write, let me 
import this JUnit again. See, once we added our dependencies here, we are able to detect the JUnit, right? So add this. So let us take one more test and call it as test2 and let us call this as test2. Now let us run this program. You can see this is test1 in JUnit Maven type. This is test2 in JUnit Maven type. So both my test cases are passed. Okay, these are called unit test cases or normal test cases. If you are familiar with Cucumber, then uh, this will be helpful for using in uh, Cucumber projects. But one thing you have to remember about JUnit is uh, it can be used with Cucumber and JUnit and also Cucumber has TestNG as well. But if you are strong enough in basics of JUnit, that will help you to uh, design frameworks for Cucumber projects as well. So that's the reason JUnit projects are very important in automation. So let me recap what we have discussed. We have discussed on how to install and download um, JUnit and also we have seen how to set up environment variables and also we can we have seen how to uh, configure JUnit using a traditional model and also how to configure JUnit using Maven project. So we have designed both. So just keep practicing and just uh, do things, do configuration and keep learning. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.